Hello friends, hope you all are doing well and staying safe. Welcome back to yet another video of the Football Mania to bring you all the latest news and insights from the football world. The Ballon d'Or was always going to be yet another exciting, you know, award which we will be looking forward to. Not because once again there is Lionel Messi in, you know, one of the strong candidates to win the Ballon d'Or, but because just the names associated this time around who can win the Ballon d'Or. And once again, it was a very, very close call between Robert Lewandowski and Lionel Messi. And however, we have seen, you know, who is arguably the greatest player of all time. Lionel Messi has once again secured his seventh Ballon d'Or title. And it is something which is, you know, not a very big surprise because we all know that after 28 long years, Lionel Messi carried Argentina to win a Copa, Copa America and it was something which you know was haunting Messi for a very very long time. He had not achieved silverware with the international team and it was you know something which Argentinian fans were eagerly looking forward to. They wanted Messi to step up his game for them and not just for the likes of FC Barcelona. And I have to say that right since the time that he has joined PSG in a very very brilliant move you know Messi has been you know sometimes anonymous but whenever he is on form whenever in those crunch moments you require a player to step up Messi has once again you know proven that he is arguably the greatest of all time and if you talk about his statistics he scored 30 goals in Barcelona's very disappointing campaign by their standards you know, Barcelona finished the table on third position and, you know, the most of the credit goes down to how Messi carried the team forward. And apart from that, you know, the Copa America was a very good achievement for the Argentine national team and especially for Messi to, you know, break his duck of not winning any silverware with Argentina. And to, you know, outcast... Robert Lewandowski to win the Ballon d'Or is a very huge achievement because Lewandowski has been in the form of his life not only for this year but for at least the last two or three seasons and he has been really really consistent. If you talk about his statistics, he scored 41 goals in 29 matches of the Bundesliga last season and that just goes to show what type of striker he is. He can score with his left foot, with his right foot and with his head. You give him any type of space and time on the ball, he is you know, bound to punish you as an opposing team. And that's exactly why Lewandowski is most, one of the most lethal strikers in world football today. You don't come across many such strikers who are you know, rather unselfish and looking to uh, tee up his teammates in the attacking front and give them all the opportunities to score a goal. And, you know, Lewandowski, let's be honest, he has been at the right place at the right time, he has worked on his game, he has, you know, observed the weaknesses of the opposition and ensured that he capitalizes them to his strengths. And that is to run in behind the ball, in behind the opposition, make those darting runs, make those link-up plays really, really effective in the final third and finally scoring goals which is ultimately going to determine the outcome of the match. Yet again, Robert Lewandowski got you know the striker of the year award and that is a very big compliment to the coaching staff who have worked with Robert Lewandowski in making him the lethal striker that he is today. And it is something which a lot of pundits have you know criticized how the Ballon d'Or is you know generating a bias towards a player who has already won the won the award six times and this is something which really baffled me today morning and i was expecting a really really you know fair decision and it, not to deny or take anything away from Lewandowski but Messi there are so many reasons why you know the journalists have chosen Messi over any other player and obviously his image rights, his you know brand personality, everything comes into the context. But if you look like look at a player like Messi, he is always going to deliver. At some point of the time, he will have a moment of brilliance which can change the outcome of a match. That's exactly how lethal 
you know Lionel Messi has been for so many years in the past and once again congratulations to Messi it was a very close call as he secured a vote of 613 compared to Lewandowski's 580 and on third place we had Jorginho who is coming on the back of a very wonderful campaign with Chelsea having ensured that they win the Champions League and also you know he created history with Italy by winning the European Championships so it was a very close call but I just think that Messi with his experience and with his you know different charisma and personality on the pitch is deservedly the right winner and long may his legacy continue even after he decides to hang up his boots so guys let's relish and cherish every match in which Messi plays from now on till the end of his career and I'm just hoping that you know once again we get to see the Messi magic which every one of us have been eagerly looking forward to so guys please let me know what are your thoughts on this massive achievement for Messi winning his seventh Ballon d'Or and do you think there are going to be very good strong candidates next season to claim this prestigious award so please let me know your thoughts in the comment section about you know awarding Messi with the Ballon d'Or or did Robert Lewandowski deserve and get enough of the appreciation from the fans it's something which we'll have to you know look forward to and with that for regular updates from the world of football please do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel so until next time stay safe and take care